Welcome back to another vlog. Long time no vlog, which is actually not even accurate. I have attempted to vlog multiple times and like in the midst of it, whatever I'm doing just takes over and I'll just like forget to pick up the camera. So you guys just never got vlogs. <laughs> but we're back flying. Um, if you're new here, hello, I'm Sabrina. If you are not new to this, I hope you're subscribed. If you've been here, let me put y'all down. If you've been here more than once, two, three times and you're not subscribed, it's giving weird energy, sis. Just saying. But um, I'm getting ready to go to the gym. As you can see, um, I'm about to make my pre-workout, which is not really pre-workout, it's creatine. So I've been trying out creatine. I've been using it now for like almost three weeks. And why did the lighting drastically like change like that? So yeah, I've been doing it for about like three weeks now and I like it. I like it, I must say. Um, if you like do creatine or anything, let me know which one you use. So the one I have is like the Nutricost Women Creatine. So it's like specifically created for women and it has dandelion root extract. I forgot what that's supposed to help with, but it's like non-GMO, it's vegan. All of that, GMP compliant, third party tested, gluten free. So it just seems like a really good option. There's Cam. <laughs> um, yeah, so I've been liking this and I must say, like you know when you work out and like the after workout pump go crazy, right? But I don't know if, is that too much water? Oh yeah, that's way too much water. Um, but sometimes I feel like on my rest days or off my off days, I just be like, where's the pump? Where's the gains? But I must say, since I've been taking this, the gains have been gains in and they've been sticking. Like they're here on a regular, regular day, you know? So we're gonna see, we're gonna see. Um, yeah, so I'm about to go to the gym now. It is Friday. It's like 5.52 right now. Um, worked earlier. We just got back from getting Cam a haircut. So we're about to go to the gym, get this workout in. I really don't feel like it. I'm gonna be straight up. This week, baby, this week was a week, okay? They had your girl working for real this week. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm like, I wanna take a nap. <laughs> my real mood is I wanna get on my couch and I wanna take a nap, but I cannot. We have like a fun-filled weekend. Not like fun feel, but we just have some things that we're doing this weekend. Um, and then I have, I have to like do my hair later. Like we need to wash my hair and stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. And then when I get back, I'm gonna give you guys like a hair update and hair chat. Cause y'all, yes, we gotta talk about that. So while I'm doing my hair, we're just gonna go ahead and do like a hair update in this vlog real quick. <sighs> yeah, y'all, I don't wanna go to the gym. I had to end this to like a lower, it's a lower body day, girl. Let me let me drink this. But I will say, this gets you in a real good mood. <laughs> like usually that's when I work out, like I feel good, you know, happy chemicals release. But when I use this and work out, like I'm on cloud nine for like the rest of the day, like mood like booster. I don't know what it is. I don't know if that's part of creatine, but I like it. I like it. Alrighty, y'all. So I'm gonna see y'all when I get back and when I do my hair. Hey guys, so I'll do like a quick physique update. So I'm 5'11. Last time I weighed myself, I think I was like 139.7. The ultimate goal was like 160, but I think it's really gonna be like 150. <laughs> so quick little physique update. So I'm a little I'm a little slim ting, okay? But I really like, let me go like this. I really like what the creatine has been doing. I feel like I have more definition. Like I actually can see like my muscles, you know, trying to form. Um, again, definitely seeing more gains. Like, like, yo, my legs, my legs been legging, okay? Yeah, so just a quick little, little, Update. This is what 
the girls working with. So I like it, I like it. So yeah. So I really like the sewing. Summer's getting ready. I never really have too much issues with my stomach area. I don't hold too much weight in my stomach area, which I'm really happy about. Like if I eat a lot, if I'm bulking, it may settle here for a little bit, but like eventually it distributes. Thank God. <laughs> so um, abs are starting to come through. I have been focusing some on abs. I've only been doing abs like once a week though, because I feel like when I do lower body workouts, I always make sure I engage my core. So I feel like my abs pop more on my lower body days than when I do upper body and actually work abs. Um, y'all let me know if y'all feel the same way. But yeah, quick little after workout pump. So this is the update. I'm gonna come back. Like this is like two weeks on creatine. So, well you can go. <laughs> so this is like two weeks on creatine. So I'll probably do like a month update, two months, three months, and we'll see. And I'm like keeping track of my weight as well. So let's go home and get this hair done, y'all. <laughs> All right, y'all. So back from the gym, ate, chilled for a little bit. Not gonna lie, I don't feel yes, Cam. Oh, they're just playing, he's playing with them. I don't feel like doing my hair right now, I really don't. Um, I do have energy for my creatine for my workout, but I just want to shower and go sit down. <laughs> like, it's not a physical, it's a mental. Mentally, I don't want to lay down, okay? But we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it because I'm not gonna have any other time to do it this weekend, and I really just I need to do my hair so my hair has been in a protective style for if not a month probably a little bit more than a month i've been wearing my v part wigs and stuff like that don't mind under my arms y'all <laughs> from like working out sweating and my deodorant whatever um so yeah it's been tucked away but i moisturized this thing real good before like i lathered this thing up with leave-in conditioner and then i had sealed it with my butter from my she goes hair care so my hair strands like my actual hair is like very soft like it's not dry or anything so i feel really really good about that um camden please go take a shower i don't know why you always want to play and do all that stuff when i tell you to go do something but when you have all your free time, you don't use that time to play with her. Go take a shower, please. Thank you. You want to fight, bro? <laughs> okay. <sighs> these kids, these kids, these kids, and I want more. Like, what's wrong with me, child? Child. I'm gonna have them though. <laughs> but um. Yeah, so I'm getting braids in a couple weeks. I'm gonna do a tutorial because it's, yeah, it's a new braid style that I have now. Y'all love my braiding videos. Like they always go viral, always. Um, so I'm about to transfer my treatment in here. I've been having it in this mason jar because I store it in the fridge. So this is not a, I'm doing it in the sink because I don't wanna spill this. I'm doing, this is not a black tea rinse. I know I recently did like an update of black tea rinse where I was using to help with my like shedding. Cause you know, my hair was falling out. <laughs> um, so this is more so, this has been a leave-in, like a leave-in treatment, leave-in like growth treatment. I'll do a video on this another day. But basically I, I had more in it and I'll just transfer how much I need. And while I was under my wigs, I was just spraying it on my scalp and then going back and all on my scalp. So your girl has like, there's a lot of, oh, can you guys see? Yeah, y'all see, there's a lot of growth. There's a lot of growth up in here, okay? I'm so excited to get a keratin treatment as well, but I'm going to be in braids basically for like all of June and probably like half of July because it's a lot going on. It's a lot going on and I just want my hair to be done. I want it to look good. I don't want to have to like think about my hair, but I also just want it to be put away and I know it's like protected. So how am I do this? Let me do this in just like two sections. 
yeah so that's what's been going on with my hair so update the hair ain't falling out no more y'all <laughs> so let me give y'all an update on that so i'm gonna be completely honest with everything that was going on because it wasn't just like oh my hair is acting up like it was something really going on like with my health right um i had like a severe iron deficiency but it was like affecting other things like i had a little white blood cell count and like that's what helps your body fight any infections and stuff like that granted i actually got sick i think like twice between like basically the two years that i was like battling that like anemia and like that being off and i will say the sickness like the cold lasted a lot longer than what it normally would last me before i like had that issue going on but that's it you know so i'm very grateful that like it wasn't detrimental or anything like that especially you know the times that we was living in but y'all i went to praying and fasting i'm not even gonna hold you like yeah i was doing all the you know topical treatments i was taking my new vitamins that my doctor prescribed and things like that but i was also we were doing that for like what almost two years like i said and there was still no breakthrough um still having issues like at this point <laughs> like i'm having a bone marrow biopsy to see if there's something going on with my bone like why aren't you like you know accepting the iron that she's taking stuff stuff like that they're like we need to figure out what's going on because we all know what's going on you know <laughs> and you know i went to praying and fasting because at this point it wasn't even just like about my hair like i was like a very upset about my hair because i was literally almost to the goal that i've always basically since i've started my channel the goal that i've been trying to get to waste up i was almost there so i was very very discouraged i was over it i was sad about my hair like honestly at this point i was like screw it i don't want to grow my hair no more <laughs> like I was like, I don't want to see my hair. I don't want to do my hair. I was so discouraged and I was so over it. But then at that point, it just shifted. And I was like, you know what? Screw my hair. Like, whatever this is, this anemia, I don't care if it's normal in a lot of people. I don't care if it's normal in black women. I don't care. Whatever it is, I was like, this need to be gone. So I prayed and I fasted. And I was like, God, restore me, restore my health, restore my hair. I did a prayer over everything. I was like, I cleanse my blood with the blood of Jesus. I was like, God, restore my health, restore my white blood cells. I did all my, I literally sat down, listed all my organs. <laughs> I listed all the functions of my body and prophesied that God was going to restore it. I literally had a day where I took my hands and I was literally just going like this throughout all my hair. And I was like, God, you said that you have a count for every single strand of hair on our head because you made me. Then the, I was like, the strands you put on my hair are not abiding by the rule that you gave them. I was like, they're falling out. I was like, God, I prophesied that you will restore every single hair strand. I said, Father God, I pray that you will heal my scalp. I was like, Father God, I prophesy that every single strand on my head that you put on my head will grow to its longest, healthiest, fullest, shiniest, most beautiful, luxurious head of hair. This hair that you ordained me to have, that is the hair that I will have. I was not even playing. I was throwing Bible at this head. You hear me? I was throwing Bible at my head, Bible at my health. I was prophesying like it was nobody's business, okay? And for anyone that's going to be like, girl, you was fasting for your hair. It was not just for my hair. It was for health as well. But maybe, yes, I threw this hair up in there, okay? Because I, I was just like, this, 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 your hair. I was like, God, you made every single strand. You actually have a count for every strand of hair that you put on my head. The hair ain't hairing that you put here. It's acting up. It's not doing what you created my hair to do, okay? And I gave it over to God. I gave it over to God. You know what I said? I was like, the next time that I go in to the doctor and I get a blood test, I was like, everything is going to come back green. I was like, God, you're going to make it as if whatever was going on, whatever attack this is on my health, on my hair, you're going to make it as if it never happened. That was my prayer. And that was my fast for the month of May. 
not last week, but like two weeks ago, went in, got a blood test, and I did like an extensive um, blood test this time. She did like all the regular stuff they look for, um, the vitamin levels, thyroid levels, everything. Like everything. I told her, I was like, test me for everything 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 okay i was still playing i was like i want to see everything and baby when them test results came back green 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 everything within normal limits the way i praised god when i read like listen that whole day every time i opened i was like thank you lord <laughs> i was like thank you for restoring my health thank you for restoring my hair and baby that that time i had like my straight um u part wig in so the leave out that i had this was me I, then i have this in my hair so i don't want to splash it but literally when a baby when i said i was just pulling 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 not a single strand of hair came out mind you before i'm talking about so if you even looked at my hair the wrong way fall just a whole bunch of hair falling out I literally just sat there. I'm talking about like for a good minute. I'm just pulling, pulling. Nothing came out. I praise God the entire day. I was like, okay. I was like, we back. I was like, we back, we back. And then I ain't gonna lie. Every time I look at pictures of my hair, I still get mad. <laughs> I still get mad. I am still offended <laughs> about it. But I was just like, it's, it's, hey, road to recovery. I was like, okay. It's on and popping. I'm, I'm telling you, you're going to call me Pocahontas before it's over, okay? So, yeah. So, please don't ever in your life think anything is too minute, too minuscule for God, okay? Even if you don't have any underlying health issues and your hair ain't doing what it is, girl, God made you. Everything on your body he accounted for. If it ain't acting right, you have all rights to go to him and be like, God, the hair you put on my head ain't acting right. The legs you gave me ain't acting right. The knees that you made ain't acting right. Okay? What you created on me ain't acting right. It's not doing what you made it to do. I need you to fix this. I need you to restore this for me. If there is anything on your body that is not operating the way that it's supposed to operate. You better turn your plate down. You better read your Bible. You better know what God said about it. And you better go to your father to fix it. Because he's the only one that can fix it. So I'm healed. I'm restored. Hallelujah. <laughs> I'm so freaking happy. It's okay because one thing God told me was that this is the last time I will ever have to get a haircut like this again. Unless if I choose to get a haircut like this. It would not be because it would not be because of necessity. It would not be because of any breakage or any hair issues. So I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for it. So um yes, yeah, so I'm gonna do this treatment. Um I mainly put it on my scalp because again this is a hair growth um treatment. So yeah so I'm gonna apply this um put on a shower cap do like some chores around the house um, and then like get in the shower, wash it out. I'm honestly gonna do a real quick deep condition because actually I'm not gonna lie. Cause like, I'm about to put my deep condition over this. Like it's just one of them days. So I'm gonna use this one. You guys know I always like switch my products every now and then. Um, but lately I've been using this. It's the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey Life. Oh, look at my hair, it looks so good. Like I'm, I'm not going to lie, y'all. I'm loving. So my curls are definitely coming back. I haven't had a keratin treatment since January. That was the last time I did a keratin treatment. Um, so for the people that have kept asking me about the curl pattern, curl pattern. If you stop using the treatment and you just keep washing your hair like normal, your curls come back. So this is what my hair is looking like. Um... There's like a part of me where it's like I want to do another keratin treatment when I come out of my braids. I'm not gonna lie. And then there's like another part that's like, but the curls, the curls are like really, they're just giving, they're giving so cute. They look so cute. The curls are, this it's it's doing its thing right now. They look really really good. Um, 
but I don't know you guys I don't know um we're gonna see when I get out my braids what I'm feeling like and also it's summertime it's hurricane season about to start I live in Florida baby I don't know I don't know I don't know can we just you can't see it now because you're gonna see it like obviously when I straighten my hair but can we shout out the growth that has already happened when I cut my hair baby it was a bob bob but we're already back I like armpit length like let's be real <laughs> let's be real okay so yeah we like whoever had commented like when I did my hair update and I was showing what's going on she's like girl you're gonna be back at your length by the end of the year sis you was right sis you was right okay you was right that's actually something else that I, I included in my in my prayer I was like God you are gonna give me supernatural growth I was like, it ain't even gonna take me as long to grow my hair back. How about that? Good morning, you guys. 
so it's Saturday. It's 10.43 now, but you guys basically saw me get up and do like my Bible study and devotional for the day. I just like, you know, I have my morning coffee because I need to film um, this Halara haul. It's a sponsored video before I head out for the day. And I was like, maybe I need this coffee to get going, okay? Um, so I was gonna say, yeah, so I'm about to do my makeup right now. Um, Camden has a birthday party that starts at 12 or obviously good, probably gonna be a little bit behind because I really wanna do this video before I head out. Cause anytime I like don't do my content before I leave out, whenever I come back from the day, your girl would just be mm -hmm, out of it, okay? So it's like, no, I need to get this video out now, especially like with my makeup fresh and all of that stuff. Um, if you guys cannot tell, I, I am definitely transitioning to being a Christian faith-based vlogger and I haven't really talked about it much on my channel in my other vlogs like I will mention it like you know mention my relationship with God or my journey with God briefly here and there but I really went in depth and that's because my other vlogs that I've been doing up until this point was to honestly get me in the habit of like sharing my life and opening up on the internet because I'm a very very private person and even if you are in my life it takes a while for me before I even like open up and actually start letting people into like me and who I really am and like my background and the things I've been through and stuff like that it takes a while for me to open up to people because of the things I've been through so all my previous vlogs was basically like conditioning me <laughs> to be able to come on here and share my life and talk with you guys and stuff like that. So I feel like I'm actually finally to a point where I'm comfortable now being like, I guess taking you guys into my life and expressing myself. Um, I've always been a Christian, but you know, I've had my moments where I strayed off or not even straight off, but just didn't know no better. And when I say that, like have my moments where I'm out here watching tarot readings or you know really basing my life based on horoscope and stuff like that which is all witchcraft let's get that very clear it's witchcraft i don't care if you want to call me religious whatever because i'm not religious i'm very much more spiritual than i am religious but i have been practicing practicing some religious acts more since i've been getting in my word and that's why like when people say oh i'm a child of god da, da, da. but if you don't truly know god's words honey you are blind and you're very much lukewarm because 90 percent of the time you're not living according to god's word if you're not living according to his word you can claim god all you want to because you're not following his word you're not following his commandments you're not living your life in a godly way the way that he wants his people his children his covenant to live so right now um i'm actually reading the bible as it was written as it was intended to be read as a book so i'm reading it from cover to cover from beginning to end because my whole thing was you know what god i want to truly know you for who you are and i can't do that if i'm picking and choosing which chapters of the book or which book i want to read at one time it does not give you that full view of like God of his work of his, like not how he came to be but how he reveals himself to us like there's just no for me personally I just don't feel there's any way for you to get a full understanding of God if you don't read the Bible like in chronological order you know what I'm saying so for the first time like really truly getting in my word I was like I want to know the full depth of the story like the actual like how things really played out and stuff like that because then that's when you truly understand God's action that's when you truly understand why he says be this way and things like that and then you get revelation as well I think more revelation when you read a book in full versus when you're reading bits and parts of it and you know just all over the place um today I read the book of Ruth which was very short read <laughs> so I was like okay we can knock this out in one sitting so I did that I did my daily devotional and today's devotional was about forgiveness and it was so crazy because I literally had a dream about that last night and you know I was, um, when I woke up from it because I do record my dreams I write them down you know I was like God like okay what do you really want me to take away from it and it was just very clear like forgive 
let it go stop holding on to this and then it just it's so funny how my devotional is not on the day that we currently are because i've literally been reading that devotional for like years ciao <laughs> and it's just so funny how today's devotion that i was reading was strictly about forgiveness and literally in the dream like the person was saying like you know we practice forgiveness in this house and stuff like that like stop holding on to this and yada yada um and i was just like okay well that's very clear so i did my prayer to let go and to forgive every and anyone that i was holding anything against that i was still feeling but yeah like basically still feeling like damn like you 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 tried me you know you tried me and i think today was like that final release and after i said that prayer i'm not gonna lie like i really felt so like so yeah, so this very first time of just trying to know God and really understand him and his word, I'm just reading the book like that. And I'm just like highlighting any scriptures, any verses that just, you know, really stick out to me. And because I was trying to do like the whole, you know, Bible study way, but I was just like, I, I can't really do this right now because right now I'm just trying to get understanding. You know what I'm saying? I'm not necessarily studying. I'm just learning and trying to get understanding. And then I feel like, honestly, once I finish reading it in full, and then when I go back to study, like actually study the Bible, it's going to be a different kind of revelation. And I think I would just have a better understanding. So then when I do go back and study, I feel like I'll just be able to study in a better way. Um, and so far, y'all, I ain't going to lie. The Bible is a wild, wild place. Okay? <laughs> it is a wild place in there. Um, it's simmering down now but the first like three four books baby god was not playing with y'all and i say y'all because i wasn't part of that <laughs> but god was not playing like it was why it was the wild wild west in there y'all hear me it was the wild wild west in there um but yeah so since i've been doing that like my relationship has been so much better because now honestly when god talks to me it is a lot clearer to decipher his voice versus other people's voice the enemy's voice and things like that and um as i was saying before like now i do have like a fasting regimen that i do die to myself to basically be more filled with god so i will be completely honest since I have like truly like devoted myself to God, came out of the world and really just been focused on knowing him, building a relationship with him. I have never in my life felt this like untouchable. And when I mean I feel untouchable, baby, I feel untouchable. I feel like I have a cheat code to life in all honesty. That doesn't just come from reading the Bible. That comes from having a relationship with God. That comes from being obedient when God tells you to be obedient. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I feel like I'm just so untouchable because I listen. When God speaks to me, I listen. Let me do my brows because this ain't gonna work. Okay, so yeah, so since I've been building my relationship with God, I just feel like I hear him a lot louder, a lot clearer, but God can speak to you all day. If you don't choose to obey him when he speaks to you, what's the point? <laughs> what is the point if you're not going to listen, right? So that is another, thing that I've been practicing is when God speaks I obey him I do what he says um and not and then I you know I take the time to make sure like I'm truly hearing God and I'm not just hearing what I want to hear because I'm not gonna lie whenever I hear anything that's like contrary to what I want or how I'm feeling I'd be quick to be like mm. but now like no um and when I say that please don't think like oh I just hop on the train i'm automatically like you know go 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 like you know for what he says sometimes i do have to sit with my emotions sometimes i do feel some kind of way and i'm like what is this you know but eventually i get over myself because that's all it is you just got to get over yourself and then i do whatever it is that he's telling me to do now it's like i also have a better understanding of why i went through some of the things that i went through in life because if i truly look back at my life and some of the obstacles that i had to overcome and the people there is actually no reason why i even went through that 
like there is no reason why i had to go through some of the things especially with the people that were in my life that were supposed to be there for me that just chose to let the enemy use them but you know now i understand why and it's because god is basically has placed a testimonial ministry within my heart and when i say testimonial it's basically going to be me sharing some of the things that i've had to deal with through life some of the people i've had to deal with and overcome through life um and the thing is we can all agree that when you are going through hard times when you're going through everything in life the people close to you they can offer you like encouraging words and things like that but a lot of the times 80 90 percent of the time it falls onto deaf ears because your whole mindset towards it is like bro you have no idea how i'm feeling you have no idea what it's like to be in this space and to have to deal with this so yeah all your butterfly and sunshine words you know i appreciate you for wanting to be there for me but a lot of the times it just does not do anything for you right but someone who has actually been through the situation that you're going through or have been through they can come to you and say the same exact words but it holds more weight and the reason being is because this person has been here they know what i'm feeling like they know what it's like to have this done to them they know um the betrayal that i'm feeling they know the pain that i'm feeling they have been there they truly truly know and they understand so therefore i can really look at this person and actually be receptive in my heart and my mind and my soul to what they're saying because they have been there um so now i understand that is the reason why i went through the things that i went through not because i deserved for it to go through and again a lot of it the things that i've been through could have been avoided if the people in my life that were supposed to be there for me simply stepped up and were good people basically chose to be good people to me versus ch choosing to be you know <laughs> um you know but now i understand so i remember a while back i had um you know made a video letting you guys know that i was gonna like start that series and i actually got like a lot of good feedback and a lot of people was like you know i can't wait like you know i feel like this is gonna be very helpful and that was like a couple years ago i had kind of made like the intro for it and then i took it down and it wasn't because it's not going to happen but i realized that i was not in the heart space or the mind set to deliver the word in a way that was basically going to be helpful i feel like at that point i was still very angry in life and it would have been more of a bashing session than like a testimonial right and that does not give god the glory at all that would have just been just one of those messy situations so you know god revealed to me like hey like i still need to prune you i still need to mold you so when you do this you are actually truly helping people you know you can show people my goodness my grace like how i delivered you from those situations how you overcame and what i have restored you to so they can see my goodness they can see what it's like when you give it all over to god and let him fight your battles instead of you trying to fight your battles you know so i took the um i took it down because the other thing i was like i don't want to keep leaving this up and then keep having you guys ask me you know when are you going to do the first episode and things like that because like after a while like people were coming out like hey like where's that <laughs> like i'm waiting like you know and you know i'm sorry that has taken me so long i really want to do it in a way that truly helps people like help them overcome help them forgive help them let go help them seek God so they can be restored. Granted, now that I'm healed from a lot of those things, um, you know, I'm not gonna be sugarcoating anything. Let's not get that twisted. It's not like, a, oh, now she's not gonna tell us the full rundown. No, baby, you finna get all of it, okay? I'm not sugarcoating anything. Like the facts are the facts and we will be speaking facts when I start my testimony. That is not changing. 
but the way that I was going to deliver it was not going to be of God. It was not going to give God the glory. It was just going to be a straight bashing session. Let's just be honest. <laughs> Versus now I can really sit down and be like, hey, this is what happened to me. This is what people did to me. These are the situations I was placed in. But this is how God helped me get out of this situation. This is how he saved me <laughs> from the situation. This is how he has restored my life since I completely gave those situations over to him instead of trying to vindicate myself or trying to get vengeance. And I feel like now we're actually there. I don't even want to say I'm all the way there but I'm there and it's going to be coming sooner than later. And we're gonna be talking about everything y'all. We're gonna be talking about family, relationships, friendships, um, workplace situations, just everything. Um, you know, and, get, and I truly hope that it gives you guys hope, um, you know, to again, leave it all in God's hand, like, because honestly, even when you try to get vengeance for yourself, it's nothing compared to what God will do. Absolutely nothing. And he has shown me that. He has shown me that. And I was like, you know, I've, I've just been in awe. Like this year so far, what God has done in my life, just out of me being obedient, not even like going within my own power to do things, just by simply just being obedient to what he says to do, I'm just so in awe. And I'm so excited for like what's to come. I'm just like, and like you truly just get excited, right? So um, if you follow me on Instagram, you guys will know I've been talking more about my walk with God on there. And I'll like, you know, come and do a little, you know, daily encouragement and things like that um, on there more than I have been on YouTube so far. And again, that was kind of getting me um, you know condition to start doing that and things like that i think he just kind of had me like starting on a slow scale and be like you know hey like it's gonna be okay <laughs> you can do this yeah so i don't know i'm just and then also you guys since i've had this relationship with god like since i've built my relationship up to where it's at now this has been the most <laughs> peaceful the happiest i've ever been in my life and when i say that it's not a superficial happy it's not a superficial peace versus before i would have like happy moments in life but overall i was not a happy person i would have peaceful moments of my life but overall i was not a peaceful person versus now i'm just a happy person i just have a peaceful life i have a joy in my heart um, it's so much easier for me to forgive. It's so much easier for me to not have this spirit of offense um, when things are done. Like, it's very much for me to be like, you know what? God bless you. I wish you the best. I hope everything works out for you. But, you know, back up off me, <laughs> you know, stay over there. But I don't hold the grudges. I don't do any of that anymore. And I'm just, I love it here. <laughs> That's like all I can say is I love it here. Okay, so yeah, so I'm about to finish doing my makeup now and it's 11, whatever, we're gonna be there like at one. Dang, I really don't wanna be that late. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna have to film my video later cause I really don't wanna be that late to his party. I think that's really it, like yeah, so I feel like now I'm finally at a point where I'm comfortable opening up on the world wide web because that was like another thing right it's one thing to know like my subscribers are watching my videos but i know there's people out here that don't like me that are gonna be one of the people in my testimonies and i know there's people out here that be evil eyeing people people just don't want to see you happy don't want to see you progress don't want to see you move on still want you to be in that very like um trapped shackled bondage place and it's like girl we ain't there no more okay Um, so I had to get over that. I had to get over it and just be like, they're not the focus of this. The focus is the people that you're going to help be released from all of these, like I said, these bondages of betrayal, of feeling less than, of that um, spirit of rejection and things like that. 
and delivering people back to God, showing them back to God, um, helping encourage them and motivate them to rebuild their relationship with God, um, to get out of this world because there is nothing out in this world, y'all. There's nothing. You can go out in this world and you can have your fun for the moment, but then when you go back home, you sad. You sad, sis. I don't care what you say. You real sad. You feel lonely. The depression starts to kick back in. Like it's temporary because Satan cannot give you this pure joy. Satan cannot. Satan will never give you peace. First of all, let's be completely honest. Ain't nothing he ever gave you that came with peace. It always comes with strife. It always comes with uneasiness, discomfort, unsettledness, all of that. I'm definitely stepping into my era of being a faith blaze faith-based vlogger um and you know throughout the vlogs i'm gonna do my mini testimonials in there but for any like areas where god is like no we need like a full sit down and run down um you know then those are gonna be like part of the testimonial series take the hair down so i know i did not show y'all like the b-roll of my hair wash day that i said i was gonna do but y'all are gonna get like an updated hair care and like wash day and stuff once i get out of my braid so yeah but this is the hair y'all y'all can see the hair is back the hair is back like i feel like you can already tell such a difference first of all like up here definitely is like way thicker than the ends but maybe we get in back we getting back to it and i'm so freaking excited um it's definitely growing out you can see the parts of my hair that are growing back that literally like just fell out y'all but if you remember when i showed y'all this whole section was gone it was missing it was bald like completely bald and look at all of this this is how much growth i have had since january like literally this whole section was missing here y'all remember y'all remember go back to that video but this whole section was literally it was nothing look at my hair growth now yes god and then same thing for here like this part was missing too and they had nothing and all of this is new growth so i'm very pleased with my hair and the turnaround and the growth that it's have it's having Okay. Okay guys, so Cam is at the party. She's gonna hang out with them for a little bit. I am actually about to run to do some shopping. So my birthday's coming up in a couple weeks, literally like two weeks from now. So I'm going to basically do a little pre-birthday treat my birthday trip is really my birthday gift to myself and I'll just I'll talk about the trip when we get to the trip because I am gonna vlog that trip so I'm really excited about it um, but yeah so I want to um, treat myself to a couple bags that I've been wanting for a while um, and they're kind of like everyday essentials to be honest but um, you know we're going for quality <laughs> um so i've just gotten to that point in my life where quality over everything like i used to be that person can i exit out of here is this is this gonna make me exit does it open inwards or outwards oh, okay it's outwards um so i used to be that person that Honestly, it was always like save your coins like um, Yeah, basically just whatever Was cheaper like those used to be the option that I used to go for but honestly in the long run it doesn't make sense Because I feel like the quality clearly just wasn't there 
So either you were replacing that thing um, a few times or like it would just get worn out and stuff like that. So now I'm just out of space in my life where I'm just like, no, quality over everything. We're gonna spend the coins and we're just gonna get the best quality for our money and that way it can last. And I'm different, it depends on what it is, right? Like things that are meant to last, we're spending the coin. So I really want a, I guess, work slash travel tote bag and I've been eyeing this one for a while. So far, everyone like seems to love it who has it and i truly aspire to be the youtuber that goes to the cute little cafes and coffee shops to do to like you know work on her videos and then just any other work things that i may have to do so i really want to get a really nice tote bag to you know carry my laptop everything that i'll need and stuff like that and then again it's going to double as like my personal travel bag that's what i have in mind they have a few different sizes I don't really think I want that super huge one and you know I've seen it on the website I've seen like some people make videos of it because I've watched like reviews and then also I want a everyday like purse to carry with me I want something a little bit nicer <laughs> okay I want something a little bit nicer for my everyday bag um, so I've been eyeing the coach tabby so that's where we're going so we're going shopping <laughs> so I'm gonna see y'all when we get there I wonder which one. Okay, so let's go to Coach. Because Mark Jacobs is all the way on the other side. Excuse me, do you guys have the um, pillow tabby bags? Oh, I need it. Gosh. I need it so bad. It's only on our retail store, so like Millennium Outlet Mall. Oh, okay, so I can go to Millennium. It's the oh, it's just the outlet. Okay. All right, so you said Millennia and or Florida Mall. Thank you. <laughs> okay, guys, so they don't have my bag here, not at the outlet. So we're gonna have to go to the mall. Okay, so we're gonna go to um, Mark Jacobs to get my tote bag, and then we're gonna have to go to the mall to coach because they don't have it here. All right, y'all. So, as you can see, Coach did not have my bag. So we have to go to a retail store. It says there's a Mark Jacobs over here, but it's not over here. It's like a Skechers in that spot. So I don't know if they like just moved or what, but I'm over it here. We're just gonna go to the Millennium Mall and go to the retail store and pray that they have both my bags that I want to get because maybe in the way you have to park for fighting I mean fight for parking out here like people will legit run into your car people will honk you to death people will hop out their car it's crazy over here bro I ain't never coming back here you know <laughs> the coach tabby so i'm so excited and i also got some new coach earrings they're so cute and she was so nice you guys so i told her my birthday is in june but she put it in the system earlier so i got the birthday discount so i got a little 10 percent discount but yeah so she's wrapping up my bag right now and then she said bloomingdale's and neiman marcus carry mark jacobs so we're gonna run in there after and try to get my tote bag i'm so excited and I'll probably do like a cute unboxing for, I'll probably do like a reel. I think I wanna do like a reel and then I'll show you guys as well. Hey y'all, so it's pouring rain as you can hear right now. <laughs> like, and I don't have my umbrella. I left it in my gym bag. And I just, I don't feel like it. <laughs> I don't feel like fun with this weather. I don't feel like driving all the way to this other mall. Hey guys, let me pause this real quick so we're back home did not go Ugh, did not go to Marc Jacobs 
I'm tired, okay? I'm not tired, I'm tired, okay? Cam's tired too. <laughs> Poor baby boy, he was like almost like falling asleep. Not almost, like he fell asleep for like a few minutes in the car, eyes like bloodshot, right? But you know how it is when like you're swimming and you be off in the pool and stuff. So, got home, I just ordered my bag, my Marc Jacobs bag. I'm actually watching a few, like what fits into the medium bag because I, I definitely knew I did not want the large, like that's a suitcase. <laughs> I did not want a suitcase so I've just been watching some videos on the medium to just make sure it would actually fit for what I wanted to do because this is legit like a work bag and then again when I'm traveling like that's gonna be my personal item bag to you know you know how it is when you're traveling and then she said she got her bag like within a week she ordered from Marc Jacobs site so it definitely should be here before my trip but let me show you guys the one I got so can you guys like see it? Hopefully, okay. So, and this is the color I got. So I got the color Cement. Ah, I love it. So this is the color. So it's, to me, it's, I feel like it looks a lot darker on here than when, than like on YouTube, like when I watch it, I feel like it's lighter than that but i got the medium size y'all ah, i love it i love it but yeah like look at you can see how yeah like we can see how big this is so this definitely should fit my laptop my chargers my um you know my what is that my storage my usb storage um a water bottle all my stuff you know it should fit for it should fit it should fit and yeah and i did end up getting the leather because um i watched some videos again i don't like the canvas i'm sorry the canvas to me just gives cheap and i mean and the price is a significant difference but yeah child i'm tired as well i'm not even gonna lie but i'm happy i got both my bags i got my birthday gift to myself so i'm really happy about that um so for the rest of today um i'm gonna chill out for a little bit and then honestly, I'm probably going to give myself like an hour or two, to be honest. And then I have a video I need to edit um, for this curly wig that I got. So I need to edit that video today and like send it off. I'm not filming that Halara haul today because first of all, my makeup from like the rain, makeup's gone. Okay. So yeah, so I'm going to just call it a day. I'm probably going to edit, do some boring stuff, probably order like Uber Eats because I don't even want to cook either. But yeah, I'm I'm done. I'm done for the day, y'all. <laughs> I'm done for the day. Hey guys, welcome back. So it's Sunday. It's 5:44. <laughs> it's almost six o'clock. Um, but earlier today, what did I do? So today, when I got up, um, listened to my church sermon. So I've been going like back and forth on if like I wanted to try to find like a new church home and stuff like that. But honestly guy like kind of had dropped in my spirit like sabrina like eventually your lifestyle is going to be one where you're probably not going to be necessarily in a space where you can go to the exact same church every sunday and if i'm being completely honest on throughout my whole entire life where i was consistently going to church every sunday religiously i did not have the relationship that i have with god now like i have probably like three to five different pastors that I listen to like every single day like I'm either listening to a sermon or listen to like prophetic voices so he was just like you are more in your word now you listen to more sermons now <laughs> than you ever did when you was going to church every single Sunday um but I do understand that it's also still good to be like in fellowship with other Christians and things like that I think that's more so why I wanted to kind of find a church home was to just have like that circle of like like-minded women and people and you know to have them to lean on versus I guess your other like friends or people around you that may not be like wholeheartedly like on their walk with God you know um I listened to my sermon this morning read my bible I started for Samuel um i'm supposed to journal i've been trying to get better with that like at least journal like once a week to like clear my mind get everything out because honestly it really is just it's 
it's really cool like when you can read an entry from like your old self your past self months ago or even years ago and just to see like the mental emotional and spiritual state that you were in back then and to like where you are now like it's it's different like yeah you can like remember back to a time but when you truly like read it and you read like the things that you were really feeling it like at that moment it's just different so i've really been trying to get back into journaling so i'm gonna probably do it like later today um i just finished filming a the halara haul i just finally do it today <laughs> this is like one of the pieces that's from it um more than likely that's definitely probably gonna go up before this vlog so you would have already seen it if you have not seen it can y'all please go watch show you some love give it a thumbs up all of the above so i kind of already did my unboxing for my coach um things that i got um but i just want to show y'all so I already did the earrings i still have them on now but these are what i got so they're like the open um hoops and right here it has the c and it has um like a diamond rhinestone like in there so you know i wear gold a lot i wear hoops a lot but i just thought these were super cute and just different and i was just like i don't know a little sun sun so i like them and they're not super heavy um either so i got those and then let me show you guys the bag so originally when i went in i really thought i was going to get the pillow tabby um but i actually did not i actually did not so again i did like try to film a reel don't even know if it's gonna make it to ig but if not i'll like insert it in here but this is the new bag this is my new everyday bag so I didn't get the pillow tabby. I just I got their new this is their newest version of the tabby that just came out. And I love this one like so much more than the pillow. Like this just looked like a lot more sleek, clean, just more me, you know? And then also this fits a lot more. Um the pillow tabby looked like it was bigger and that it was gonna fit more, but it was just looked bigger because of the fluff pillow material. But yeah, and then yeah, so I got it black with the do they does she call this chrome or some something steel hardware, whatever it's called, but basically it's like black on black. Um I would have loved to get black and gold because that's my thing, but she was going to have to order it. <laughs> and I was like, girl, no, I'm walking out here with my bag today. Okay, after all that I've been through, y'all saw me. After all that I've been through yesterday, I said, give my bag. So I got this, which I'm actually like happy that I got because it's just more universal and it's definitely like more everyday. I feel like the, mm, yeah. So yeah, so this is what it is. Um, it does come with a longer strap, so you can do it cross body if you would like. Um, yeah, so this is what it looks like. So it has the three compartments. Um, it has this in the section as well that has a zipper. So it has one, two, three four compartments because it has this section in the front it has this one too so that's five and then on the back um you know it has this i don't feel like anyone truly ever puts anything in the back part but this is what it is it's so freaking cute i love it um yeah but i also want to do like some more unboxing i want to show you guys some new stuff that i got so first of all let me tell y'all something I don't know if y'all knew, but there is two kinds of aloe vera plant on this planet. There is a poisonous and a non-poisonous one. I did not know that. Why well, I caught myself trying to do um, like a DIY aloe vera oil and all the videos I watched, they just blended up the leaf, the inside, they blended everything. And I was just like, but I thought y'all said there was something in the leaf that, well, like, okay, okay, because everybody done did it, okay. And then I even scrolled past one that's saying, oh, how to tell the difference between a poisonous and a non-poisonous aloe vera. And I just skipped right through. I was like, well, I don't use the same aloe vera plant, you know, that I have out here to do like hair treatments. Nothing's ever happened. Mind you, you've always only used the inside and you also rinse it out to get all that extra chemical off, y'all. Caught my blended up the whole thing. I think I have the poisonous version out there. I don't know. But either way, there is a chemical in the aloe vera leaf. It's called like urushol or urushinin or whatever. And it's in the same family as poison ivy, y'all. Tell me why my entire torso, 
mainly like my whole back hold it like i'm talking about in between my, my boobs all up on it my whole body all the way down to like literally here of my arm broke out rash and i'm gonna even include like a snippet because one of the hair video that i did like i, I wore like a high neck top but you can still see it like on my neck at the time and you know like that video was due like i had to get it out so i was like I'm just gonna try to hide this as much as possible, but y'all, it was bad. And I, for a while, I didn't know what it was. <laughs> I didn't know what it was. So when I finally was like, oh, I think this is it. Cause the thing was every day I would go to sleep and I wake up and it, would, it was like progressively getting worse. I'm like, what is this? What is this, mind you? It's because I'm like touching my hair, then I'm touching my body. Cause I was like itching, itching for a while. I was like, I didn't know what this was. And then girl, one day I like touched my side and I felt something and I looked and the, whole rash everywhere y'all so i finally figured out what it was washed my sheets washed my bedding all of that but then i looked up like how long will this rash take to go away they're like oh it'll clear up on its own but it could take like some weeks and i was like weeks and by time by i'm telling you like by this point it's already gone on like two weeks like we're heading into like the third week and I remember I had like a dentist appointment and I was like telling him about it. And he's like, oh, you know, you could just get some acalamine lotion, yada, yada. So I went to Walmart, got like the scrub that they had that you could bathe with. And then I got the lotion for the itch. But that thing wasn't really like it, it stopped it from spreading. But then I was like, but what about these spots that I feel like is like leaving? Like, what is this? So I finally like I ended up ha having a like my annual doctor's appointment anyways. So I went there and I showed her she prescribed me some like oral steroid pills and baby clear that thing right on up. Okay, but there are still like some areas where you can see I'm gonna show y'all. Um, you probably can't really see it. too. Yeah, I feel like you can see it. So you yeah, y'all can see like some of the spots still and like it's like kind of like around here a little bit i don't think you could like tell on my back anymore let me see so yeah so yeah so you could see right so there's like still some areas where the proof was there okay and i just this is i know this was god i know this was god because Maylee, I'm trying to make sure my address. So Maylee's reached out to you, girl. It was like, hey, we want to put you on our PR list, and I was just like, okay. Um, so they're like, you know, choose some products, whichever one you'll be more interested in. And I was like, look at God looking at y'all. But um, shout out to Maylee's for sending me this. So I'm gonna show you guys the products that I chose from them. Now I already have one product from Maylee's, and it was their B flat belly cream. Um, and that I had actually got in my boxy charm box and I have not used that consistently but the few times that I have used it I will say it really works so if you have like loose skin on your stomach or if you have like really bad stretch marks give that a try y'all I'm telling y'all it gets real warm <laughs> when you put it on it's real warm sensation but it works um, because I had some stretch marks from when I had cam and even after all this time like i feel like they were still very kind of like in your face and from the few times that i use that mind you i've had it for like months now when i say a few times i'm talking like i may do like once or twice a week like over a month like this it's like significant change i feel like my stretch marks aren't as like vibrant they're more so like blending in with my skin now so their products work but i got their b glossy Bo smoothing body serum and so this is supposed to reduce like reduce okay so this is supposed to help give you like a smoother appearance on your body get rid of fine lines and wrinkles supposed to help with your skin elasticity for like a firmer healthier and more radiant skin so i'm really excited about this and i love all their packaging like <laughs> all their packages are so pretty cute so yeah so i got the b glossy this is a smoothing body serum so we about to be <laughs> using that it is the summertime i do plan on being in bikinis all summer okay 
so we need the skin to be looking right but i was just saying like god was so right on time because he knew like i was feeling so kind of way because like god i ain't never had to worry about like you know having like my skin be like just blotchy and things like that so i was feeling some kind of way i was like <laughs> why <laughs> So the next product I got is their Be Glowy and this is their brightening body serum. So this is what's really gonna help me with any of like that leftover residual like marks that was left on my body from the rash. So this is a brightening body serum that's supposed to help improve the appearance of uneven skin tone and reduce the appearance of dark spots to reveal brighter and more youthful skin. So I'm excited about this and also I really want to concentrate this more so like on the areas that I have the spots on my knees and then let me show y'all something like so this elbow is fine right it's fine this one y'all can see or maybe you can't but yeah you can see this and I think this is from when I'm sitting at my desk because I'm always resting on it and it's not a soft top the chair that I have it's like you know the hard plastic whatever material that comes on your computer chair and I'm always resting on here and it's like darkening my skin area so the be glowy so I'm mainly going to do that again on my areas that I still have that spot like in between here on my stomach area all the areas where I still have the spots and then I want to focus this on the kneecaps you know the kneecaps we playing with y'all <laughs> the kneecaps and my elbows so I'm gonna let y'all know how that goes and then this <laughs> this one i was just being extra but i got their b thick and this is for the bootay okay this is supposed to let me read it for y'all so so this is what it looks like so it's the maley's b thick cream and this is a booty enhancing mask so this is supposed to hydrate and help visibly tighten the skin on your butt and then with regular use, it says that this can help your bum appear more voluminous and voluptuous while assisting the skin in the air to stay tight, firm, and boosted. And listen, when y'all see me glowing and see my skin look brighter, don't y'all dare be trying to say I'm bleaching. There's a difference between bleaching and brightening, okay? We don't bleach over here. We're the pretty brown brown, okay? Yeah, but... Thank you, Maylis, for sending me those. I'm so excited to try that out. So since we're here, I'm gonna just show y'all some other stuff that I got. Clearly, it's a haul. Um, so a few vlogs back, I did um, I did have a partnership with Alt Fragrances. So the first time I did um, my collaboration with them, they had sent me three fragrances. So one was their Duchess, which is their version of um, perfume, the Marley's Delina. Um, I think I had got one that was like Splash, which was, I don't know, I really wasn't too crazy about that one. And then I got their version of the Baccarat Rouge, um, which was like, okay, but I really wasn't actually crazy about that, which is crazy because I really thought that the Baccarat Rouge version was the one I was going to be more obsessed with because everyone's like obsessed with that perfume, but this one was bay okay so it's called duchess on their site but again it's their version of the perfume the marley delina and baby let me tell you something when i wear this maybe when i wear this i'd be having to beat them off with a stick you hear me i'm not even exaggerating i wore this to my dentist appointment both my dentist and i don't know what you call them but people that actually do the cleaning they're both men literally the man's like cleaning my teeth like like what is that you smell so good the dentist comes in oh what is that oh my god you like all literally all up in my you got to beat them off with a stick with this okay and i freaking love this i have never ever stepped outside of my house and did not get a compliment when i was wearing this baby <laughs> you can see like this I loved it. So I love this so much that I was like, you know what, baby, I'm about to pay the five. I'm about to drop the $200 and just get the real thing. And then I was like, but Sabrina, why ain't? <laughs> why? Because I went back on all fragrances site and baby, they had a 100 ml bottle and it was only like $60. I was like, girl, what, what, why? 
keep your money child so maybe <laughs> i had to re up so i had to re up but y'all this smells so freaking good so good so yeah this I'm keeping this. I'm keeping this. If you know, if anybody want to give me the real one, go ahead. Go ahead. You can go ahead and get me the real one. And I really love how the label was pink because the bottle's like the cutest pink bottle. But yeah, babe. So yeah, I got the big boy. <laughs> Cause I was like, I know I love this. So I was like, let me go ahead and get the big one. Um, so I got that, and then I got two new fragrances to try. Now, first of all, I'm a little bit mad at myself because I thought this was like their smallest size because on the bottle it doesn't tell you like the size on it but i don't know why i just thought i just thought this was the smallest size um because not every option they have comes with this big bottle that's how like i knew this was meant to be because when i saw that they had the 100 like mls i was like babe this was meant to be i was like yeah we don't go ahead and get that big boy but most of them only come with these two sizes which is the one ounce and the two ounce but i'm kind of upset because it's literally just a ten dollar difference and i wish i would have just got that one but in my mind i thought this was the one ounce and then i thought like the two ounce was like a uh, in between right but anyways i like this <laughs> so one of them was um one that i chose and then the other one they have an option where you can basically do like a mystery scent so, okay, so this was my, so this is the one that I chose. So the majority of my perfume collection is very like warm, like sweet, sensual, musk. That's just what goes best with my body chemistry. Like all of my staple scents, like they mix very well with my, like it's rare that I put on a scent and I don't get a compliment. Like it's very, very rare. So I know how to pick out scents for my body chemistry. And that's something you gotta be mindful of just cause it smells good when you smell it or it smells good on other people doesn't mean it's going to smell good on you so yeah so that's another reason too why alt fragrances is probably like a really cool company to try out because before you go ahead and literally like drop that you know drop a bag on a designer perfume you can test it out to see like does this scent really work with my body so another scent, like again, everything I have is very sweet, very sensual, very, you know, but I feel like it's more so also for like nighttime scents, you know? So during the day, sometimes I feel like it could be a bit much. So I'm on the hunt to find like the perfect daytime fresh scent. You know, I'm not crazy into florals. I'm not a floral girl. I don't like it. Okay, it's not my thing but i did get um so um i got this one and this is the bohemian water which is hold on i gotta tell y'all which one this is a dupe for okay so the bohemian water is inspired by gypsy water i don't know who that is but anyways um so this is supposed to be more of like a clean fresh kind of scent which i love i already opened these and like smell these I'm actually gonna put this one because I want to wear this one more to see like if I really like it or not and like what it really smells like yeah but I like this yeah like it's a very like clean fresh scent it's my thing it's my thing so let me give you like I guess the notes for this one yeah so it's a simplistic and calm scent so okay so it has bergamot lemon juniper pine needles or um it don't even make sense for me to read these because i don't even know what those smell like like what incense what is orris root i don't know what that smells like but the ones i know ambers okay i think that's why i like this one because it's like a mixture between what i normally go for and then the fresh scent so the top notes is bergamot lemon juniper which lemon clearly we know that's a very like fresh clean scent and then the base of it is amber sandalwood and vanilla so it's more my family so i think this is definitely going to be like my thing for the daytime i'm gonna work today and see and then if i really like it baby we finna go back this one doesn't come in um that 100 ml though so i'll probably just go back and get the 60 or i don't know i might ooh. I do like this. I think I found my clean, fresh daytime scent. So I might look up, um, what is this? Gypsy water and um, 
see i guess what the real cost of it is so this next oh yeah so that's what i was saying like <laughs> I was not expecting this size, but this is their 1ml. Oh, but at least I get to show you guys. So if you're on their site and you can get an um, idea of the sizes. So this is their 1ml, which is the smallest bottle. This is the 2ml. This is the size I thought I was going to get. And then depending on the scent, they may have the option for the 100mls. So these are the three different sizes that they come in. Um, okay, so where is it? So this last scent, again, so they always have an option where you could do mystery scent. <laughs> and for that one, it's actually cheaper than if you were gonna buy like the scent at their regular price. Whenever you do mystery, so this one was $20 versus their normal like $39. So they end up sending me, they sent me the Bold Love which is their dupe for um i think it's killian don't be shy <laughs> and y'all that's right up my alley yeah so this one is yeah it's inspired by don't um love don't be shy um and this one like when i was reading the description it smells really good y'all really 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 good so yeah, so this one um, is Neroli, Bergamot, Pink Pepper, Orange Blossom, Iris, Jasmine, Honeysuckle, Caramel, Sugar, Vanilla, Mut- Like everything that I just read off is just like, like girl, I, was, I will swallow you whole, okay? That's the Killian Love Don't Be Shy. I feel like I hear a lot about this and now I see why, like this is scrum dilly, I'm just good. So I have another one and I was like, oh, they picked the perfect one for me. Like they knew, they knew what I wanted. So yeah, so I got those. I did definitely want some new scents. So I'm very happy. I got some new addition. Oh, you know what I also got? Yo, I'm about to be out here smelling like a whole candy shop. Okay, a whole dessert shop out here with all these scents. But um, I also got this because I went to Sephora because I had to pick up some few things i went on mother's day mother's day weekend was when i went because i like needed some more stuff but i know i saw the girls they kept going crazy over these the the um sol de janeiro sprays so i picked up this one i'm i was really kind of actually upset that they didn't have this scent in the bigger bottle and the one, of course, that I like, they didn't have in the big bottle. But this is their caramelized vanilla and macadamia. Y'all. Oh, this smells so good. I'm already smelling like everything. I don't really care. I want to spray it. Ooh, I want to spray it. But I kind of bought this for, like, just for the days, like, really quick, like, running out. It's nothing too crazy, but, you know, you just want to smell good. Like, I would rather use something like this than, like, actual perfume. But... It smells so good. Y'all go smell this one. If you just want, if you're looking for like just a body mist, for, again, just you know, on those like regular, regular days, you're not doing nothing too crazy, but you want to smell good, go smell this. It smells real, real good. All right, so now that I've literally chat your ears off and showed you all my new goodies, um, it's six o'clock right now. I'm about to go eat this salad that I got from Chick fil A. But I hope you guys like, oh, no, 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 no. I have something else, you guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So, we back. Now, if you have made it to this point of the video, if you have watched me literally talk the whole time <laughs> through this video, I'm, oh, Lord, I'm doing a giveaway. Woo! So we have two bags. You can see, you'll see some of the things that are in here. It's like a mixture of different things all of them have like a few different pairs of eyeshadows from kiss so this one has like a makeup brush set in here they have the eyeshadow glue they have earrings in here that i got from timu some other makeup essentials like it's just a mixture of they have eyeshadow palettes in here like different things so i'm going to do zoe stop terrorizing the neighborhood Y'all, she be going off on whoever outside. So I'm gonna choose three winners. So, um, 
it's not gonna be anything crazy definitely of course thumbs up this video show your girl some love like you know get the algorithm going for your girl um make sure you're subscribed as well but um just let me know honestly like what was your favorite part of this vlog how do you feel about this vlog like was there any parts of it that was like inspiring towards you you don't have to say anything about the giveaway or anything like that but yeah, what was your favorite part of the vlog? Was there anything that inspired you, encouraged you to start on your journey back to God, to start rebuilding your relationship with him? And also just drop your Instagram name. That is going to be the best way for me to contact you to get um to get your address to send this out to. Um congrats to Desi GT. She is the winner of my last giveaway that I hosted in it was like my i think my hair tea rinse video was where i hosted the last one so i do have a few more bags of these and i'm going to be hosting give giveaways in random videos but yeah so for this one i want to do three winners because it's probably a lengthy video so y'all made it here yeah girl just drop your comment drop your ig handle and i'm gonna leave this open for like two weeks um because i would like to send this out like before i get on my trip and stuff like that um yeah so but thank you all so much for your continued love and support um again i feel like i'm finally now like walking in my truth walking in my purpose and i don't really feel like that blockage anymore that i was feeling before so you guys can definitely expect more content new content me getting more personal with y'all and for these testimonies that i hope is gonna really break off you know these chains off of some y'all from you know just live in a real, real cold world. <laughs> but thank y'all so much for watching. And I'm going to see y'all next time. Bye, guys.